back to a vlog. We're doing a vlog today. Um, I thought this would happen. I've kind of got to the point now where I've been making videos. I was trying to work this out last night for over a month now. Uh, three videos a week for about five weeks, I think it's been. And today is the day that my brain has just said absolutely nothing. It is a blank little desert in there with tumbleweeds just rolling around. <laughs> The frustrating thing is that I still have so many things that I want to share with you guys. I have a whole list here uh, of video ideas and things that I want to do. Some of them maybe I'm just procrastinating from doing because they are quite labour intensive. <laughs> Mainly my organising and clear out videos. Um, but anyway, I thought today we would just do a simple easy vlog. It's a Wednesday. Nobody wants to be using their brain right now too much. Um, so I thought we would check in, have a little catch up, because it's actually been a while since I vlogged. I've been doing so many um, very like structured videos, things I've had planned for a long time, all the DIYs, um, makeup videos, sit down videos, things like that. But I haven't really just caught up with you guys since the beginning of this. I've been trying really hard to keep um, my videos in this channel um, at this time very like upbeat, very trivial, very throwaway. Because I think that's just what people need at the moment. They need some light-hearted entertainment. You know, having friends on every day, all hours of the day can only go so far. You know, you need some fresh content and I completely understand that. Um, and most of us are fortunate now to have more time than ever to kind of sit and consume that content. So many of my favourite YouTube creators and people online are doing just that and producing like heaps and heaps of amazing videos and um, all sorts of things to watch which is just awesome. I think we sometimes forget how uh, time consuming making a video can actually be, especially when you know you have to do it from home and uh, ideas are running thin on the ground. That's how I've been spending most of my time here anyway, making those three videos a week really does take up uh, pretty much your entire seven days. Uh, so I very much feel like I'm in a bubble right now. I I come from a very privileged position, especially in this current situation right now where I'm able to work from home, my partner is able to work from home, my family are all at home and safe. Um, I'm very far removed from what is actually happening in the world. I'm trying not to consume too much news other than essential and important things once a day. And I don't personally know other than some of you guys that I know watching my videos, many people that are kind of on the front lines of things. So in a way, I'm I'm kind of just in a bubble. That's how it feels. Um, I know that is not going to be the case for a number of you that are watching this video. And I just want to say thank you so much again. I think I've said this already quite a few times this month for everything that you're doing. Every single person that is involved in some way, in some degree, um, with helping others at the moment, I, I just bow down to I think you are incredible it's always difficult times like this which you know are not pleasant and not fun by any means that I think we truly see the best of people we see the worst of people too but try not to focus too much on that um it's the people that just you know run towards the situation wanting to help and needing to be there for others that are what keeps this world running really um my small small contribution has been to try and keep you guys entertained in the situation where you like me don't have a lot going on so i hope this now vast catalogue of videos that we're building up um has been doing that for you uh, although this is the point now where all of that just crumbles. I've actually really been missing a lot of the regular I guess fashion content that I have been doing more recently but other than just flooding you guys with a bunch of videos about loungewear I'm not really sure what else there is to talk about. There are definitely days where I've been getting dressed into more kind of outdoor appropriate outfits but other than that I mean who is walking around their house in jeans honestly if you're doing that who are you? Who hurt you? So here is another day, another loungewear set that I thought I would share with you guys. This one is from Zara. Again, Zara really do take their loungewear seriously. Um, this one is just a really simple two-piece. Um, it's maybe a little bit see-through actually, so let's not look too hard, but super comfy, which is just the only thing I want to reach for right now. Um, this top I could probably get away with wearing just, you know, with a pair of jeans out and about. It's a very nice, versatile piece. It's got kind of like quite a wide neck actually, more on the wide side than I would normally go. I kind of prefer a crew neck when it comes to jumpers and things, but 
like this, very comfortable. It's got nice turn ups on the sleeves and it's just a bit baggy. Same goes with these trousers, they're very similar. They've got the turn ups, they're a little bit cropped and short and just nice and wide and like floaty. Floaty is what we want right now, tight is a no-go. I actually am quite concerned that I may not be able to fit into my jeans again <laughs> once this is all over because my activity levels have definitely gone down. There's no problem with that. I mean, what else are we doing? We can't go outside. And I have been trying to keep up with as much exercise as I can. Luckily, my yoga studio are actually doing online classes, so I've managed to kind of wear my way into a few uh, Zoom classes which I have to say are definitely more engaging than just doing a YouTube video. I have the tendency to kind of get to a really hard point and then just give up because I can just pause the video and you know walk off and do something else but when you're in a live class with a real instructor talking to you it's it's a lot more similar uh, to the actual real deal when you're in a room with people. So I've been doing a bit of yoga like that. Missing spin, unbelievably. There is nothing like being in a hot sweaty room with neon lights and people shouting at you to pedal a bike. Um, that is the one thing that I will be really ready to go back to when I can. Um, I've been running a bit too actually. I had to take myself back to week, I think it was week three or four on Couch to 5k. I will never finish that thing. I get to that point where I'm nearly at the end and then something comes and interferes and I lose all my fitness and have to start again. But honestly, if you want to start running at the moment, cannot recommend the Couch to 5k app enough. I have said it enough times. <laughs> Repeatedly in fact, but it's just the best thing. It makes running so much less daunting um, and so easy to get to whatever your level of fitness. So uh, let's go make a coffee actually because I haven't had one today and that is usually the very beginning of my daily routine at the moment, very essential coffee consumption. I've been making a Dalgona coffee, not every day, but probably way more than I should. These things are addictive. Uh, first of all, it's just so nice to have an iced coffee because it's summery and that's what I want to be drinking. But they are so full of sugar. That's the reason they taste so good. I wish I knew how to quit you, but I don't. Uh, what you didn't see there while I was making my coffee was that I had the camera propped up on my brand new baby starter. I should go and get it hang on i'm gonna show you and here she is uh like most of the nation or the ones fortunate enough to be able to find flour in the shops at the moment let alone strong white bread flour i am embarking on project sourdough i have made so much banana bread over the last few weeks that i cannot banana bread anymore <laughs> i like to think of myself as a pretty um intermediate level baker so um bread is something that i have made before but i've never attempted sourdough sourdough for those of you who don't know is kind of like your top tier highest level maybe not quite to the point of pastry and such things like that uh, but it's tricky it's hard to master um you have to make this thing called a starter or you know come across some starter either way this thing is like a little pet that needs feeding every day i actually have its feeding schedule here i asked a lot of you guys on instagram how to even start going about this um and a lot of you recommended joshua wiseman i think that's his name on youtube so i watched a bunch of his videos i printed off his uh starter feeding sheet and here she is, my own little cultivation of natural yeast. Beautiful. Um, so in seven days time, hopefully that will be active and I can start making some sourdough bread. I'm actually gonna take her back and put her um, in her little home. I haven't given this a name yet. I know people like to name their starters. The Boy Who Bakes, who I've also been looking at um, his sourdough Instagram stories, has named his starter Quarantina, which <laughs> is just kind of too much. Um, if anybody has any suggestions what I should name mine, let me know. I've actually got a few PR packages to open today, which I thought I would do with you guys. I actually filmed a whole video doing this not that long ago. Most of you seem to enjoy it. I never really actually kind of show the things that I'm sent regularly. 
Um, it mostly tends to be beauty, sometimes it's some clothes and stuff like that, but I thought it was kind of interesting to just share with you guys. I feel like I'm still the person that buys 90% of the things I talk about. I'm very much the kind of person that likes to put my money where my mouth is, so if I'm recommending something to you guys, it's usually something I've bought and purchased myself. But that doesn't mean that when I'm sent things from brands um, to try, like new launches and things like that, that I don't properly and honestly test them out and see what they're like. And you know, a lot of the time, things that I've come across that way uh, really wow and impress me too. So whether I've bought it or whether I've been sent it, I feel like it's a pretty equal situation. There is no difference really between the two. Um, but I think it's always nice to keep open and honest with you guys, so I'm going to show you some of the things that I was sent this week. This is a very cute tiny little package, which is from Bare Mineral. So last time Bare Mineral sent me some of their skincare, which I've been trying. This I think is makeup. I'm seeing the word neutral, and that is exciting me. Let's open this first. That is very pretty. It's the Gen Nude Neutral Palette. Ooh all good things i i mean i don't even need to talk about this <laughs> that is right up my street um it could be said that i don't need another nude eyeshadow palette but that is the perfect size i love it when things are just small and easy to carry around and take with you there's a mascara in here as well uh oh a lash domination ink liner one fine line micro liner okay that's intriguing me let's open this that is a very dainty very small tiny tiny eyeliner it's almost like an eyebrow pencil that is how thin the nib of that is i'm gonna try not to talk too in depth about all of these because this is not the main purpose of this video and i don't want it to run too long um but that eyeshadow palette looks to me very exciting this one is from benefit i think well known for their uh, interesting take on packaging most of the time these are parachuting foundation sticks so I've got the Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation in 2.5 and 3. Let's open 2.5. I think that's probably going to be more for me. So this is buildable medium coverage, 16 hour long wear, waterproof and sweatproof, SPF 20 natural finish. I really like actually the simplicity of that packaging. Oh, there's a, there's a smiley face on it too. The thing I like about foundation sticks is that you can almost just use them as very pinpoint coverage um so i would just put this in the areas that i needed it almost treating it like a concealer um i think it's quite a nice way to cover things that you want to cover but also keep the rest of your skin quite open and fresh and you know breathable this one is from a brand that i've not actually heard of before it's called duvals, duvals. i actually really like the packaging of all of this it's very my color palette it's like light pink and this green is gorgeous too uh there's something that's already jumping out to me and it's an argan lip and cheek color oil oh, sounds amazing oh feels nice it definitely feels quite oily i would probably use that more so on my cheeks i think it would give a really gorgeous like gloss can you see the actual shimmer and gloss that it's got like the look of that one um we've got an organic argan oil moisturizer oh that packaging is <laughs> so so cute i love argan oil i mean i remember back in the day when people used to go mad for moroccan oil which i still use so many of their hair products they use their hairspray and their mousse and occasionally their oil i love it and i love the scent of it too that smell just brings me back to so many things um this one is actually a moisturizer though so i've never used an argan oil just as a moisturizer that could be something really interesting to try there's also a body butter i'm trying really hard at the moment to keep my skin my body skin <laughs> hydrated as much as possible and um that means using a body lotion every single day after i've had a shower this one is uh also an oil but it's a cannabis and argan oil skin high 200 milligrams cbd apply to face at nighttime as a treatment that's really interesting i've not seen um a lot of oils for the face with cbd i know there are so many brands putting cbd into just absolutely everything at the moment boost the appearance of skin elasticity wellness and soothe troubled skin helping to absorb vital nutrients i think we've got some charlotte tilbury here which is always very exciting um i've actually heard about this this is the new magic serum crystal elixir and we've got the magic lip oil as well um this is i think new to her skincare range massage a few drops into clean skin morning and evening before your magic moisturizer so i'm a well documented lover and fan of the charlotte Tilbury magic cream it's just it's incredible it's the secret ingredient cream that she developed herself over years of mixing things together from different brands so it truly is just 
magic. Um, so very exciting that she's brought out a serum next. I'm guessing this is going to be very plumping and hydrating, just like the moisturiser. And it's crystal infused. And the lip oil, that sounds quite fun. I do like a lip oil or any moisturising lip product. And this is also crystal elixir in the same packaging. Ooh, it comes in a rollerball. That has piqued my interest. So much like those lip... Wow. Oh my god, that smells amazing. So much like those lip glosses you used to have in, um, in secondary school with the rollerballs and just sit there all day putting it on. Very, very excited to try those. Um, and there's actually one last tiny little package that I have just noticed. Another big smiley happy face. Is this from Benefit as well? I don't think it is. A Star is Born Blast Off Star Face Hydrocolloid Pimple Patches. I have never heard of this brand before, but I'm loving this packaging. <laughs> Look at that. That's the cutest thing. It's almost like an AirPod case. It's like a proper hard plastic. Um, okay, now I know what these are. I've actually seen these on Instagram. They are little spot pimple patches that are stars. I've seen a few people wearing these and they look so cool. Um, I've not really tried that many of these like pimple spot blemish clearing patches before, but I hear they are amazing. I love that these come in their own little case and I'm guessing you get quite a few in there because it seems quite deep. Um, I actually have one particularly aggressive spot on my forehead right now, so I can definitely give those a go today. Not bad for a Tuesday morning. Um, thank you so much to all of the brands that sent those out to me today. I am going to catch up with some emails now here and kind of get my morning started, reply to some messages, and I will check back with you guys a little bit later on. after sitting outside for a little while it's so hot today it's so warm and sunny so i took full advantage of that and um took my lunch out there and just had 20 minutes in the sun which was so good i was thinking about starting to read something actually um which reminded me that so many of you have been asking me about my uh reading to be read list what i'm reading now what's getting me through and i have nothing nothing to give you i don't know what it is about this time but i'm finding it so hard to sit down with a book sit down with something and really like engage with it um i get like half a page down and i'm not concentrating my mind is like going all over the place it seems like whenever i sit down for a bit of peace and silence that my brain just takes over um the only thing really that i can sit and do and just zone out to is playing like a game so animal crossing has been my friend there absolutely i don't know if that's maybe destroyed my attention span for things like reading i hope not um maybe i need to take a little break from that for a while i really really want to try again and try my hardest at actually reading so we've kind of got this little reading nook going on here at the moment in my room we added some curtains um, to this room a little while ago which has made it so cozy and so nice and this little bay windowy little space that we have which was kind of just empty I've got this chair here now so I can sit here it's comfy and it's peaceful and it's away from the rest of the house so this hopefully I can maybe start reading in I don't know what to do if anybody else is having this problem and it's not just me please let me know because I feel like I'm the only person in the world not just absolutely diving into my stack of books um, and taking advantage of all the spare time to read. I did do something a little bit naughty though. I bought two new books and I know in my last book video I said that I wasn't going to buy any books until I had finished the ones that I already had but all of the things that I have to be read at the moment, all of my little reading pile are very much like character based fiction, um, modern fiction where the story is very involved around uh, people's lives and the relatability of that, a lot of them set in London, things like that. And I'm really struggling to actually relate to that right now. People just going about their everyday lives, going outside. Even when I watch TV programs now, I found myself kind of like shocked when people come within a meter of each other. It's such a strange thing that my brain is doing. It's kind of trying to relate my current situation and our current situation to things going on in fiction and it's just not making any sense. Um, but anyway, I found that really difficult to kind of get into 
stories about people just you know going about their lives so i decided to try something different and this is on your recommendations i mentioned a while ago that i was thinking about getting into some murakami i had i think it was killing commendatore which is i think his newest is a big chunky long read and so many of you said if you've never tried murakami before do not start there you know go back a bit get into his earlier works familiarize yourself with it and then you can tackle the big stuff. So that I have done. I have two of his books here. Um, and I think these are the two that you guys recommended to me to read in order. So starting with Kafka on the Shore. I might have got this wrong, but I think this is the one that's less Murakami-esque. Um, maybe not so much in the metaphysical, a little bit more of a traditional story. And then I have Norwegian Woods, which I think is like the most synonymous with him. Everybody has read this, but it's supposed to be one of the best. So I thought maybe getting into something a little bit otherworldly, um, more like fantasy based would be a really good idea. I'm trying really hard not to just pick up Harry Potter again. Um, it's kind of like comfort eating and comfort watching. I find myself so drawn to rereading things that I have read before um, in order to make myself feel safe and happy. Um, it's been a while actually since I last reread Harry Potter so maybe I'm due it but there are so many other books to read I feel like I just can't justify it. So I think I'm gonna start with Kafka on the Shore. If this is wrong please let me know um, and if I like that one I'll move on to Norwegian Wood. So that's my measly two book pile that I'm planning to read. Um, I did set myself a goal of reading a book a week last month and I ended up with absolutely zero so that is my plan as far as reading goes because I know you guys were interested um, and I really want to talk more about books um, I just have to read some of them first so I actually have something to say so guys I think I'm gonna leave you here for today we've got a zoom quiz to prepare for tonight we've been taking full advantage of the zoom quizzes I think we're up to three a week now with various different family members and different groups and circles. Is this one that we have to make questions up for? No. Or not? No. My round last week was Disney and it was a picture round and it was great. And how many questions did you get right? Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Joe's round was on The Simpsons and I didn't do too badly actually. I got quite a few questions right. What was the question that I got right that nobody else did? What was the name of the cat? In the Simpsons. Yeah. Place your guesses below right now. The answer was Snowball. Everybody knows the name of the dog, but not the cat. Okay, guys, so uh, we're gonna go and get ready for that. Make some snacks, have some beers, because Tuesday night, why not? Um, so thank you so much for watching this very Here There Ever a vlog. I've just been reminded that it's actually Wednesday and not Tuesday. <laughs> I think that just says everything about my mental state right now. So um, thank you all so much for watching. I will come back to you again with some proper content in the coming days. Um, or maybe I'll try and vlog more if you like this too. It's very difficult to actually vlog when your days are made up of the same thing over and over again. We're not going out, we're not doing anything special. I know most of my vlogs are usually set at home, but everything is just so similar now. It doesn't seem like there's anything new to fill you in on um but anyway i'm gonna leave you all here thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye